Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. We're going to do a Cincada Ale from Yards Brewing Company. This is an indigenous ale, they call it. Um, it's a hoppy indigenous ale. Cicada is brewed with local wildflower honey, a classic Belgian yeast strain, and a variety of uh, and a hop variety so new hasn't even been named yet. Well, there you go. Yards Brewing Company, North. Uh, no, is it? Yeah, 901 North Delaware Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, yardsbrewing.com. This comes in at 8.5% alcohol by volume, so it's basically a Belgian IPA. Okay. Infused with wildflower honey. Let's see. It didn't explode, so that's good. Listen to some Baphomet, Dead Shell Rise, awesome stuff. I don't know how lively this is going to be. Okay, just give it a little pour in the middle to see what we can do. Okay. I mean, there is some sediment, not too much. Yeah, it's automatically hop sediment in here, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of, uh, of that kind of Belgian yeast qualities, a little bit of bread, definitely getting caramels. So I'm getting a little bit of floral booze, and I'm definitely getting that citrus quality from the hop. Like I said, I don't know what kind of hop it is, it's not been named apparently. Slight bit of a uh, funk, way in the back. It almost reminds me of Saison. Smells okay to me. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Boy, would this thing do with more sweetness? It just if it, if it had a little bit of a kicked up sweetness of the malt base, it would be a little bit more enjoyable for me. But, you know, first sip, better, better give it a chance, right? A little bit of carbonation going on. Nice lacing automatically. got a lot of earthy bitterness. The citrus comes and goes, but it really isn't that citrusy as much as I thought by the smell. We have some soft breads, soft caramels, a good amount of bitterness. There's some, there's some lingering bitterness, definitely. Yeah, you get more of the, yeah, if you invigorate it and breathe it in, you're getting some of those grapefruit qualities of the citrus. A um, little bit of lemon peel. But there is a nice earthy bit to this too. Uh, there's a little bit of floral on the nose, not too much. Pretty, uh, this is a, a pretty much a hop forward one. It's got a medium mouthfeel. I'm really confused on this one. I'm not really, I don't know if I like it or not. It's easy to drink. It just seems a little bit on the dull side to me. It's, I've had others where it's just a little bit more bright, a little bit more lively, a little bit more, um, especially if the citrus notes, if they were just a little bit more bright and a little bit more lively, it would be more of an enjoyable ale. Because this was kind of a late, really laid back ale. Not too bad. The more I drink it, I think that the more I like it. 
especially on that bag, you know, take a big waft right before you swallow it. It has more of those residual flavors. They kind of come out a little bit, and then you get some of those bread tones, a little bit of that saison quality. Then you get some of the citrus, with then mixing in with all that that earthy bitterness. But it's a different one. Uh, me and you know the Belgian stuff. I'm not too big on, you know, I don't really know much about it, and I'm not really used to drinking it so much, so maybe that has something to do with it, too. Not bad. It's not bad. It's just to me, I don't know if it's really hitting me the way it's supposed to. Shame, but... Hey, that's what happens, right? You can't, just because you like one brewery doesn't mean you have, you know, I mean, lucky you if you like every single thing that one particular brewery does, you know. But, not too big on this one. Not bad, though. It's not bad. The more I drink it, actually, the more I... I it's surprisingly easy to drink too for 8.5. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna give this one. I'm probably gonna give this one a solid eight. Eight out of ten for the Cicada Indigenous Ale from the Arts Brewing Company. I've been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers. <laughs>